In this video, we will cover installing VLink Virtual Matrix, VLink System Administration, and VLink Device Interface, all of which can be downloaded from the RTS website. Let's start with VLink Virtual Matrix. VLink Virtual Matrix acts as VLink's server. It should only be installed on the system you are using as a server for VLink. After downloading VLink Virtual Matrix, right-click the zip file and click Extract. Open the extracted folder and double-click the installer. If you see a Windows pop-up like the one shown here, click the More Info button and then click Run Anyway. Click I agree to agree to the, the license agreement. Click Next. In this video, we will install VLink trunking. When prompted to install VLink Virtual Matrix as a service, click Yes. After the installation, your browser will launch and will most likely display a warning message like the one shown here. This is because your computer does not trust the SSL certificate that comes installed with VLink. To continue past this warning, click the Advanced button and then click Proceed. When prompted to change the administrator password, enter a new password in the field and then click Submit. Next, press OK. This concludes the VLink Virtual Matrix installation. Next, we will install the VLink System Administration app, which is recommended but not required. After downloading VLink System Administration from the RTS website, right-click on the zip file and press Extract. Open the extracted folder and double-click the installer. If you see a Windows pop-up like the one shown here, click the More Info button and then click Run Anyway. In the Virtual Matrix host name field, enter the IP address or domain name of your server. In this case, we will enter localhost. Log in with the credentials you created earlier. From the System Maintenance tab, select License. Here you will find your unique system ID, which will be used to license your server. Lastly, we will install VLink Device Interface. After downloading, right-click the zip file and click Extract. Open the extracted folder and double-click the installer. If you see a Windows pop-up like the one shown here, click the More Info button and then click Run Anyway. Click I agree to agree to the license agreement. Click Install. When prompted to start the VLink device interface, click Yes. Enter the IP address or domain name of your VLink virtual matrix, then click Apply. This concludes the VLink installation process.